It's time to fly to Curitiba. Sunrise at the airport. The Santos Dumont Airport is the domestic airport of Rio de Janeiro and it's located right in the city center, very close to the Powder Azucar. Therefore, it offers amazing views when you fly over the city. And we are very lucky that we could get this flight for only $33 from Rio de Janeiro to Curitiba. Oh, it was a super tiring day today because we get up at 3.30 and then we went to the airport at 4 because our plane was at 6. Then we flew from Rio de Janeiro to Curitiba and arrived about 7.40, got our rental car at 8.30, drove over three hours here south to this place called Pena. And right now I'm here at the viewpoint. And this is a wonderful rental car. Uh, Volkswagen Gol. You know, in Germany they have this car's Golf with the F, so I thought it was a spelling mistake, but no, it's really written like Gol. Yeah, so G O L. It's nice that this car comes with a phone holder so I can see the GPS, but the roads are really bumpy here. So, this is a new wonderful, it's actually a hotel room with air conditioning for 17 US dollar. And it's uh, 8 a.m. I got up very early today because breakfast buffet is only until 9. So, this is the wonderful balcony, but uh, it's a busy, busy street here. And there you can see the park right away. And here's a wonderful breakfast. Ooh! So, this is the wonderful amusement park. It's actually the biggest amusement park of entire South America. So now we're here in this really, really high Ferris wheel. Not so high. Well, she says not high, but I wouldn't dare to jump down. Cowboy! Cowboy Sita! Yeah. We should also do that. Okay, here. So now we're going to the zoo. It's such a cutie. The first area of the Beta Carrero World Amusement Park we visited. Toot toot! which is probably the least interesting for most people, is the zoo. But we really find it exciting since we love animals and the zoo has actually a lot of stuff to offer from exotic animals and even interactive attractions like horse riding. We had to sign up for horse riding, but it was really not so spectacular. Oh, here the giraffes. Fun for the kids here. It's a giant lion. Yeah, the eyes. It's really big. I think that was the biggest lion head with a plague on inside I've ever seen. They're monkeys. You can go inside next to the kangaroo. That's very interesting. I didn't know snakes can do that. I actually didn't expect to learn so much about snakes by visiting this amusement park. So that's really cool. So big this snake. Oh. My mom, I'm going. Here the moors and the elephants. Agora, a parcial Monga is the name of the show where a woman turns into a gorilla. And then breaks out the cage and scares them. But this very same show is also available in the Fantasia Landia Music Park in Santiago de Chile. And I like the one in Santiago actually much more because the girl was giving a very nice dance at the end of the show. Well, this is the magic labyrinth. So now we're arriving to the German village. Twenty-seven. It doesn't matter anyways. Pirate monster taking the treasure. Are you home? Did you? 
Evita sair com a confusão. Oh, oh, oh. E não vamos. Tá bom, vamos pra rádio. Isso é The highlight of this amusement park, uh, for sure, the shows which are offered. The first show we have seen is called Aqua and as the name says it's themed in the underwater world and I really like the aspect of people doing acrobatics, stunts, dances and I really like this show. I'm not sure if it's just me, but uh, the show appeared to have some erotical aspects, although it is aimed at children. The next show we have seen, which is probably also the signature show of the entire park, is the Hot Wheels Epic Stunt Show. And as the name says, it's really about these little toy cars. And not just the toy cars, which are called Hot Wheels, the wheels are really hot, yeah, according to the smell of rubber in the air. And the audience got crazy. Also, I really like this entertainer, which cheered the people up to applause. And you know, you can hear already the sound of the squeaking tires burning. I think they have to change the tires every few weeks just <laughs> to keep it going because they're burning so much rubber. So uh, <laughs> this was the only annoying part of the show. <laughs> Madagascar Kingdom. Beto Carrero World apparently licenses some DreamWorks movies because they had Shrek, Kung Fu Panda and Madagascar in its park, while Madagascar was the biggest section with uh, Water Ride and the Madagascar Circus Show. <laughs> Uh, 
as the level where he says this show contained a lot of stunts as it was a circus show but they built this stunts into a storyline which is based on the third Madagascar movie where this little obese French policewoman were chasing the animals as an animal patrol. The show contained really cool acrobatic performances including bike stunts. Also, I like that they included the audience as part of the show, especially when the policewoman were investigating and accusing the audience to hiding information about these animals. So yeah, all in all it was a cool show. After we finished the Madagascar show, we straight went to this water ride, which was also located in the Madagascar part of the park, which was really nice, but I had to be careful not to get too wet since I was using a camcorder in this little ride. But it wasn't too rough, and we really enjoyed the decorations made out of the Madagascar movie. Smile! Raska Puska! Francisca unfortunately got a little bit mad because I was spinning the cups too fast and filming her, so which <laughs> caused a lot of trouble for me. They're making Easter! The so called Raska Puska boat ride was basically a copy of a It's a Small World ride which is based in Disney World. Look what we did today, same thing. Same. But you look not so happy like they did. I was thinking the same. When you see those train rides in the amusement parks, you think they're boring, they're for little kids. But here in Beto Carrero World, this train ride was really cool. It took also over 15 minutes taking the passengers to various landscapes. At one point, the train got attacked by bandits who were trying to rob the passengers. But then, luckily, Beto Carrero came and saved the train. What is this? And I said, oh my god, I think we go to the North Pole. Santa and dinosaur and ponies. The most absurd section of this ride was the part where you can see Santa Claus, ponies and dinosaurs in the same picture. And then after this section, the dinosaur part started, the train drove into a cave and there they had lots of dinosaurs. There's the tent. <laughs> There's the tent. So. And over there we're gonna have to show. So and let's hands in the air! Hands in the air! Hands in the air! <laughs> Yay! The last show for the day was dedicated to the park's founder Beto Carrero. He is a Brazilian born in Sao Paulo, but I don't understand why it is always a cowboy. Yeah, as in the train ride before, he was a cowboy, and here in this show, it was basically a cowboy western show. But the show itself was really cool, having lots of yeah, stunts and dances. And I really 
like this drag queen or lady boy as they call it, those transfer stars in Thailand. It was really nice to see this part of the show. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good ending of the day. I really like this amusement park. It's the biggest amusement park in entire Latin America. And Wikipedia says it's even, it was at one point the third largest in the entire world. Highly, highly recommended. The park is about three hours south of Curitiba or three hours north of Florianapolis. So, yeah, go and visit. Oh my gosh! Why wow, the can is moving? She's a fast There's one. a ghost. <laughs> there must. Wow! Laser condition. There's no wind here. There's no wind. Why? Why is it moving? Everything has an explanation. I have this power. explanation is your superpower. So case solved. <laughs> Yeah, and I just got two, two tickets from my previous car rental in Rio. Ah, that's so annoying. It's like $25 each plus their $15 administration fee, $40, two tickets. And I don't know, I barely went too fast. It must have been once I was 51 km per hour where it was 50. That was the only time I know where I went too fast. And the other time, I don't know. There's just way too many speed traps here in Brazil. And then the fines are like, ah, ridiculous that they add so much administration fee.